Hello Internet! I'm Hazel and this is how I did Chen Storm Stout with only two pets for an awfully big adventure. For the first pet, I'm using a Cogblade Raptor with Batter, Screech, and Exposed Wounds. Some people have had luck with other mechanical pets such as the Clockwork Gnome or the Dark Moon Zeppelin, but I really like this guy for this. In the second slot, I have an Arctic Hare with Flurry, Dodge, and Burrow. You could use any rabid pet with the same moves as long as the speed is over 281, which I think is all of them. Alright, don't forget to bring your Elec plushie along for the ride and have your Cogblade Raptor in your top slot if that is in fact what you're doing. Here we go, so Taunts' first move can stun you and if that happens you just want to start over. Our first move is going to be to cast Exposed Wounds against him and we're going to be using Batter after that. The stun only has like a 1 in 4 chance so most of the time they'll be just fine but if it does hit you, you need to exit and then start over. So two batters should take care of him unless you're really unlucky. Bit of RNG with this, but thankfully you only need to get the fight done with once for the fight and it's not horrible RNG. This didn't take me that many tries. So Chirps is gonna put you to sleep and then we're gonna move in our Elec Plushie. The Elec Plushie is going to stay up for one round just so that he can eat that Lotus Swarm, Locust Swarm. And then we're gonna use Itchin' for a Stitchin' to bring him right back in for the to the Cogblade Raptor now. Cogblade Raptor against Chirps. I'm going to use Screech, which is going to give me a speed advantage and do some strong damage against him. And then I'm going to put up Exposed Wounds. That's pretty much my game with the Raptor against Chirps. You don't need to kill him all the way, but having Exposed Wounds is going to help you do a little bit of extra damage with Batter when we get to come back to life, as you're going to see here. And when the bunny comes out, having Exposed Wounds up is going to add lots of extra damage to Flurry. So once you have used Screech for the speed advantage and you have used Exposed Wounds, just go ahead and Batter for as long as you can get away with it. Um, with your Cogblade Raptor. Eventually he goes down, but it's okay because we have a very speedy little bunny. Speedy little bunny comes out, and it doesn't actually have to be a speedy bunny. All of the bunny breeds are speedy enough for this, so it's no problem. And Flurry finishes off Chirps in this case. Not bad, not bad. So Burley comes out. I'm going to use Burrow the first turn, and that is going to get us out of the way of his inebriate, so our hit chance isn't lowered. You want to save dodge so that you're using it so that you do not get hit by Barrel Toss. Now Barrel Toss is kind of like Pump. He, he prepares it just like that. Now note that he will always wait one turn after preparing it. He will barrel toss, barrel, he will make a barrel, and then he'll brew bolt you, which you want to eat, and then you want to dodge. He waits one turn between making the barrel and throwing the barrel. You must dodge the barrel. So you, uh, once you see the barrel, wait one turn and then dodge. That will get you far out of the way of that. And then you're free to just kind of flurry him down and you can use, um, you can use burrow after that point to get out of the way of anything in the future and, you know, smack him. But I'm just going to keep up with flurry because it's nice and straightforward. And we're almost done. He doesn't heal himself, thankfully. <laughs> and taken care of. And that's how I did it. Check out my channel for other guides you'll need for an awfully big adventure, and good luck getting your very own trunks. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!